Hello everyone, it's Snide and Sniff back at you with another video. This time we are looking at more of the brilliant Supersposed fantastic artwork, including Vacation Part 2. Do you remember that teacher comic he did where she became chonky thanks to quarantine? Well, he is continuing that friggin' masterpiece. Obviously, um, you can check him out on DeviantArt. Uh, I don't think he has a I Patreon. Mean, this was a commission, so I mean, you could mm -hmm. get something like this from one of the best artists around. Let's, uh, let have a look at this. What is teacher lady up to? And so, class, your homework assignment for the day will be to... Oh, darn! Come on, come on! Rip. Oh no! Make sure to read chapter 2 and 3 because there will be a pop quiz on it tomorrow. Slam. Ugh, oh, I thought these were supposed to be elastic. Thank goodness for overnight shipping. But she replaces the pans with new pans. Come on, this waistband is as big as a teacher's salary can afford. <laughs> what? No! Are they gonna get pants? pants. Good morning, class. I figured we'd get a little up close and personal today. No real reason, just wanted to try something new. Well, friggin' quarantine, sitting around home, working from home, who, who cares about pants? Wrap a towel around yourself or something? I guess that would work. Epic to see more of friggin' teacher lady. Very cool. Please continue this. Dude, you should continue this. I love it. Please make the third part, man. I feel bad for saying this now. I was about to say, please continue this. <laughs> Come on, be Tetris. I mean, we need more adventures of the teacher lady. They've already lost their pants. I don't know what more can happen. Man, I should really invest in one of those belly button rings. I don't know how much more my tracksuit can handle. Wait, belly button ring? Wait, isn't like a <laughs> piercing or like a belt or like... Like, damn, she got she got that friggin' like tortilla taco thing, my dude. Like, that's lady got taste, my dude. Also, that couch is either she's very big or that couch is very small. Spiral into fatness. Ever since that spiral bound donuts shop opened, everyone's been swelling up like blimps. You should really try to eat something. You look very weak. But I won't give in to the temptation. I can't. That guy looks like a anime character like there's a t particular kind of anime character that he really has the vibe of like there's no temptation in his eyes not for the bun or for the lady he's he's just too dead on the inside to even enjoy donuts um that lady is very cute though like i love her hair that's cool i just don't know if this is for me you know it's pretty tacky and doesn't go with anything in my wardrobe plus the whole walking on two legs thing isn't all it's cracked up to be it does make you look quite hideous, Miss Bo. Oh, wait, is she wearing the peach talking about the peach crown? I'm sure you guys are sick of these by now, but do bad. 2018, unsurprising. <laughs> super, super crowned Lady Bo from Paper Mario. This guy, though. He's got a moustache and moustache hair. It's epic. <laughs> Mirage, oh no. We've been expecting you, Mr. Incredible. That's pretty cool then. Um, yeah, this is, this is epic. Trash waifu though. Um, don't cheat on your wife, Mr. Incredible. Your wife well, is friggin' hot as He frick. didn't come. He, he didn't. Though he should have. Okay, maybe uh, not. Caitlyn. Not Caitlyn from League of Legends or Caitlyn Stark, but Caitlyn from 16. I don't even know what that is. Caitlyn, do you have those samples for the customers yet? Don't eat customer food. That's like the number one rule. There's, there's plenty of food. You can you can eat as much food as you want. Just don't eat the food you're going to give to the customers. Did they think they were going to get away with this? Did they not know it was for the customers? <laughs> the chocolate was just too good. <laughs> this is like a really different sort of style. It's probably supposed to be like more looking like the cartoon yeah. it's based on. But it's like, it's cool. I like it. The talk of the town. Oh my goodness. Super sorry about this, Mount Lady. I didn't expect to have all of these adoring fans follow me around today. Yeah, it must really suck for you. <gasps> Mama Midoriya! So cute. M M Mrs. Midoriya, can, can I get an autograph? Who's that purple dog? Those horns are so tacky. Knock them dead, Mama Midoriya. All of the way, Mount Lady. Why is this true though? Mel Lady, no, you cannot you cannot overcome the fans of friggin' Inko. She is she is best waifu. Rizzly Law. Don't underestimate chubby people. Slap slap. No, we won't do that. Chubby people are amazing. True. Oh, she's from Fairy Tale, well. I don't know. This this lady doesn't look like the sort of sort of lady you wanna mess with. 
So, are you on Team SpongeBob or Team Patrick? Is neither an option? <laughs> That's great! Squidward! Squidward, best boy, my dude. What a chad. He's like the original, maybe not the original, but he's like, he's living in the society, Squidward is. I'm on Team Squidward. Here's some big brain stuff, okay? How to make the ultimate waifu for your cartoon. Comic and cartoon creators, pay attention to this lesson. How to make a female character that appeals to the internet. 1. Tired sunken in eyes. Bonus points if they have visible bags. Yep. Uh, moody, often creepy appearance, usually wears dark makeup or has sharp teeth. Mm -hmm. Baggy, dark colored clothing, just the right amount of thickness, got that bulge at the top of the stockings but not too much. Long, dark colored hair, often obscuring the eyes, also very pale skin. Mildly goth accessories. Personality, introverted, uh, weird and or sadistic, mixture of a goth girl and neat traits. Yeah, okay, that is pretty much... Is, are those <laughs> exclusive? <I don't> <laughs> That's true, yeah. But no, that is pretty much like people on the internet either like goth, neat, or both. Angers easily. Don't forget the slouch in posture. <laughs> oh, it's true though! <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is, this is in the guts of accuracy too, and I think he's um, he's analysed the internet pretty well with mm. this. Quite an intellectual sort of uh, approach to it, yeah. Just a dumb little thing I do, don't take it too personally, I enjoy a lot of these traits myself, so I'd be a hypocrite if I crapped on anyone for liking them, but I noticed a lot of common trends in popular characters and cartoons and anime that get tons of fan art, so I decided to compile them all into one waifu ubermensch, if you will. Not me, I like cutesy girls. My man, my man. Fat. Nonsense. Uh, androids can't get fat. Well, I guess this just disproved that, didn't it? <laughs> Android 21. Cool, cool, cool pattern, pattern top, yeah. Zircon. I think you got me a size too small. That's not that bad fitting. I, th I think that works. She looks sort of like grumpy, dark-haired Velma, who is blue. Uh, There's a few pictures of that, yeah. Like a glove. And people say I've gained weight. My old freshman year garb still fits like a glove. Like a very tight glove, yeah. <laughs> it's not looking too bad, like lolly. Oh, is this friggin' uh, Trinity Fates character? Epic. Of course the dress still fits. I haven't put on that much weight, have I? Now that, that, that does fit very well. This is pretty well fitting. <laughs> we seem to be just doing a series of people saying like, My clothes still fit right, Ah! And, um, yeah, that is all for this episode, everyone. Super Spose artwork, it's it's great, man. Yeah. We've actually seen a sort of, like, few different styles in this. I mean, sort of variants this, this on does style. span quite a few years, too. So. Mm. True as well. His yeah. style has evolved. Uh, you can see, you can go right back to, the, like, the history of his artwork on this demon art. It's really interesting to see. So, yeah, um, congrats, Epic Art Man. Thank you so much for continuing to bring... Your beautiful art into the world, thank you. And um, yeah, I guess guess the other lesson is, you know, you, if you stick at something and, and keep keep trying, keep practicing, keep learning, you know, you can become a great whatever you want to be. You can be anything you want to be, as Michael Jordan would say. We'll leave it on that note. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Peace the chonk out.